for there um, just to note. Uh, so the council meeting on the 30th, you've got a presentation from Bike Taupo from 11.30 to 12.30. Um, we'd like to also include a workshop um, from 10.30 to 11.30 regarding Kinloch Esplanade. We've had some conversations um, about that previously. That's around the um, vehicle access onto that, onto the reserve. Just to clarify, uh, the presentation from Bike Total, that's more of what well, is a presentation, but they'd like it to be in a workshop format where there's interaction and um, councillors feeling free to sort of ask them about their plans and what it is they yes, have. Yes, yeah, that's correct. And in, more so than a formal council presentation. And in talking to um, His Worship, um, the formal council presentations that are required from the CCOs, etc., will still remain. Um, at council meetings, but the more informal ones from um, groups and organisations, rather than make these council meetings so much longer, um, <coughs> the, the workshop would be, would be more appropriate. Um, so the other one on that day as well, Wairua House, um, the trust there would also like to come and do a presentation to council, so um, we uh, could do that from 10 to 10.30. Yeah. Okay. Um, and just also, you'll be getting some meeting invites shortly um, for the long term or 10 year plan um, workshops. So, um, we got, them. got them? Okay, right. So, zone two meeting. Um, yep. There's some questions. Is there an agenda been agenda come out for that? Have you got that? Yep. Yeah, cool. So, we need a couple of councillors to go to that. Your yeah, Worship, I'm prepared to go <coughs> to the Zone 2 meeting, but not for the second day, because I wouldn't be staying the night, and the second day is only for a couple of hours anyway. Anyone else keen to go, Bernard? Do you want one or two days, Bernard? Well, if, it's, if it would seem to be rude to our hosts, um, then I would stay to two days. Um. I'd quite like to go to the two days, but um, I'm quite happy to miss the dinner and go and stay with friends and things, and that might, you know, there's no expense to anybody. Uh, is there a cost involved? No, it'd just be travel, wouldn't it? Travel and travel time. Um, accommodation. Accommodation, did it? Yeah. Sorry, through the chair, for Zone 2, uh, for the two-night experience, uh, it, they ch tend to charge back the dinner cost to the uh, council attendees. It's, yeah, it's, not, it's, not, it's not expensive. Yeah. So, Councillor Body for one day. Thank you, Councillor Body. Uh, Councillor Krasowski for two. two. And Councillor Park for two. Anyone else? <laughs> uh, I'll bring your doggy back. Yeah. I wouldn't mind going for the Thursday, but I was looking at the uh, program and I've already been to the the uh, Velodrome and, and those places. So. <clears throat> no, I, I just had a quick quick look at it. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll miss that. If anyone else feels the appetite, we can always probably retrospectively improve the yep. time around. So we've got three councillors at the moment. Yep. Uh, Councillor Body, Cousins, uh, not Cousins, <laughs> uh, sorry, uh, Krasowski, uh, and Councillor Park. Uh, Councillor Park, no dinner, she'll have a organic salad at her friend's place. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's that one. Um, LGNZ applied governance essentials for local government, April to September. So there's various um, LGNZ um, workshops itemised there. If anybody's interested in attending, whereabouts are they, Tina? Do you know? Oh, Auckland. Sydney. Okay. Um, Auckland, Wellington, the price is Auckland. Sydney, isn't it? Yes. jumping out of his skin again. this one. And lastly, um, appointments. So 
um, Waipahehe C75 Reserve Trust uh, just wanted to um, have a look at um, changing an appointment there in discussions with, uh, with His Worship. Uh, at the beginning of the triennium, His Worship and the Chief Executive Officer were appointed to that trust and um, indications are that, uh, that a, uh, another elected member might be more appropriate um, to that position. Yeah, what uh, happened there is the uh, Chief Executive um, needs to be an elected representative of the C75 Trust and I've suggested Council Williamson uh, because of the uh, Council Williamson's um, mother, he's back, in actual fact replacing the former former Mayor, uh, Joan Williamson, so I thought that was just a nice fit and the um, C75 Trust were, uh, were more than happy with that idea, but up to you guys. I'll move, John. I haven't actually asked him yet. <laughs> are you so that you so that another one other first? <laughs> Do you need to miss him? <laughs> are you saving legal fees through the transition there? Because you only have to I don't know any other yeah. yeah. good. Yeah. So if everyone's happy with that, um that's how I'd like to suggest. Do you like to have an acceptance uh, speech at all? <laughs> Talk to you later. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. Everyone knows what the C75 Trust is, I presume? Yeah. yeah. Cool. I don't. John will tell you all about it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Should move all those four items. All that would block. be great. Yep. Thanks very much, Dina. Both of them. Thank you, Councillor Stewart. Uh, seconded by Councillor Truman. All those in favour, please say aye. Aye. Those against? Carried. Thank you. Item number 13. Thank you. <coughs> Everyone will hand them in. I just, uh, 13 bar 2 is obviously my report. Just like to thank the uh, councillors and council endorsement for my attendance here. Hopefully, I don't know if anyone's got any questions or queries of the report. And, and through the chair, I've just left a copy on everyone's desk of the minutes from the recent Waikato Spatial Planning Committee meeting, which is more of an informal session, really, but the next meeting, it's where the rubber will hit the road and we start talking about the scope. So I've got the minutes are there for you to read. So has that pamphlet been delivered around somewhere? Yes, or? Um, he gave them all that last night, but it's still as good today. Okay. So tight time frame, it's about 11. So yeah, no, it's Cool. Good on. Well done. Uh, Councillor Park? Um, I just wondered if I could ask Councillor Dolan's a question just around um, sort of who you thought local might be good to appoint or put forward as local appointments. Um, I had in mind a couple of people, but um, and I was going to run it past you guys before I put their names forward, but they've both declined. Uh, <laughs> so um, I'll get time. time to <laughs> that appointments for what? So, yeah. um, just just oh. to, to explain, Councillor um, Parks, on the Waikato Spatial Committee, there is room for three non-elected representatives. Okay. Yep. And um, we were asked to potentially put some names forward. They were looking for people with um, strong rural backgrounds. So um, I had a couple of people in mind which I was going to discuss, but um, they've, they've said they don't, they don't have time. So, um, but if anyone's got any ideas, please let me know. Okay, cool. No, that's fine. I just clarification there. Okay, so we'll keep working on that. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Is it being an ex copy? Yeah. Member, so what I'm quite keen to do is balance the books in terms of regional representation. 
Uh, it's good. It's, uh, it's pretty important to have someone who's very strong. Okay. Uh, any, uh, any, uh, you've tabled uh, your reports, I presume. Does anyone want to add or anything, done anything extra, extraordinary to those reports? International relations, please. <laughs> yes, cousins. Roseanne. You might like to try Andrew Welsh. Just, um, I, I attended the um, Register Master Builders Awards in, in Tauranga on the 2nd of August. Really good turnout from Taupo and Turangi Builders. There are five big companies that represented on the night. Um, Haynes stole the show. He had a couple of good golds. Um, mm. Bronze at our end of the lake and a couple of other golds I think up here as well. Um, actually, quite a good night. MC was um, Duncan Garner, who I thought was a bit over the top with his political tirade, or who he hates and who he likes. Um, but yeah, I just want to say well done to the builders. Who was that? Sorry, uh, Brent, uh, what was his name Garner, Duncan Garner. No, was that the local awards? Was it? Yeah, they should put it to Tauranga. Yeah. Oh, Tauranga. Yeah. He's so doing, Bay of Plenty and TV journalist. He's doing the political debate Friday night. I think. He was terrible. Yeah. It was terrible. Yeah. And, and on another accolade for our community was the Taupo Nui students that won the Reserve oh, yes. Bank Monetary Challenge. Mm. That was huge. That was yeah. against mm. 120 schools. They knocked out of the Browns, Auckland Grammar, all sorts of schools. So those three students they did an amazing job. Actually, I think we should give them a, a, a mural reception. Oh, yeah, I believe we should. Next, perhaps next council meeting because that is huge and, and Times not here, are they? I, I wonder they hadn't picked up on that earlier. Um, they did a small story today. There was a small. Oh, was it? Oh, I thought I'd seen. Yeah, it. that's a nationwide. So you up against kings and Wanganui colleges yeah. and all that. That's brilliant. Those, yeah, those three students did really well. <coughs> so we might contact the school and make sure we get them in here and acknowledge them. And also uh, Lakeman Brewery, who picked up two bronze medals in like, the Bear Bar Banks New Zealand Beer Awards in Wellington. Fantastic for a growing business. Yeah. So we'll, we'll get the students in there and we'll get a couple of kegs in and we'll get into it. Sounds good to me, you wish. Or STV. Yeah. And the pokey machine. There's a pokey machine. All right. Okay. Sorry. We digress. Um, so do I need a mover for members' reports? Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Park. Second of all, Councillor Stewart. All those in favour, please say aye. 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 Okay, there's a resolution there to exclude the public uh, for the reasons outlined. David Newman, please. Thank you, Councillor Park. Thank you, Councillor Jollins. Thank you. All those in favour, please say aye. 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 aye.